On achieving 400 gig, one always has a number of axes that you can go back to and, and consider in terms of how am I going to achieve 400 gig Ethernet. You can go faster, so we, we see ourselves moving from 25 gig signaling with NRZ to a, a 50 gig PAM4, and in doing so we see ourselves adding forward error correction. One can add more physical paths, so more copper traces or more optical fibers you can use. For example, we have 8-lane versions based on 50 gig and 16-lane versions based on 25 gig to achieve 400 gig signaling across an electrical interface. We also have uh, multi-fiber variants. In the case of multi-mode fiber, we're using 16 fibers in each direction to achieve 400 gig with 25 gig over each fiber. In addition, we have a four-lane single-mode version to achieve uh, 400 gig over 500 meters on parallel, four parallel single-mode fibers with each fiber carrying 100 gig PAM4 signal. In the case of single-mode fiber, you can also add optical lambdas. Prior generations of Ethernet have used four lambda approaches, but in the case of achieving 400 gig on a, on a WDM type of, of system, we find ourselves using eight lambdas this time at 50 gig PAM4 to achieve that aggregate of 400 gig. I kind of touched already on the last axis, which is modulation and adding more bits on a transmission. So with NRZ, one transmits a single bit with each transmission, where in the case of PAM4, you have two bits of information being transmitted. This effectively allows us to get more, more data across with each transmission. Now, in terms of using this technology beyond 400 gig, we can start to use, look at using these single lanes of 50 gig to achieve other speeds of Ethernet. For example, 50 gig Ethernet using a single lane of 50 gig, next generation 100 gig and higher density using two lanes, or even a four lane approach to achieve 200 gig. Leveraging these technologies across other mediums for other solutions of Ethernet.